Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to share with you guys some tips that I have on one of the new game modes called Drop Zone, which is going to be live from now until next Friday, the 27th. Now, for those of you guys that might not have played Drop Zone ever before in previous Call of Duty titles, it's a really fun game mode, and in a way, it's kind of like Hardpoint, where you have to capture and hold a certain objective, but then over time, the objective will move to a different location on the map. It's kind of like Hardpoint again, but then during that time, care packages are going to fall on the objective, and they're going to feed you score streak. so it's kind of like really hectic because you really don't know what kind of score streak is going to drop it could be a uav it could be a scare but it could possibly be an rc8 or just overall some of the best score streaks in the game and uh, yeah so usually every time during a game there's going to be multiple rc8s wardens and just some of the really good score streaks in the game that you might not be able to obtain in a regular lobby they're going to be in this game mode called drop zone so you want to make sure that you're holding down the objective and it's uh, just really important that you're defending it and have your team set up in, in all different locations on the map and control the objective now drop zone is a really good mode for completing any challenge than involve a score streak so if you're not one of the stronger players in the game then drop zone might be a really good game mode for you to help you finish out any of the score streak challenge that you uh, might be working on so maybe it's like get a couple kills with the rc and i'm not really sure what the challenge is for the rc8 but i actually think it might be 10 kills with the rc8 if you're not a strong player then uh, just overall drop zone is a really good game mode for you to get score streaks in it's really fun and really hectic so uh, i definitely recommend you guys try and get out now in drop zone the more players you have holding down the objective the more points you're gonna get so say there are three players in the drop zone right now then every single second you're gonna get three points if you have four players in the drop zone You're gonna get four points, etc And I see a lot of players running around and playing drop zone like it's hard point and you don't want to do that So make sure you are playing the objective and of course you are gonna get rewarded with free care packages for doing so Now the other team will also be after the drop zone as well So I recommend using perks that are gonna protect you from grenades like blast shield or attack resistance Those are really good and also blind eye is really good for for this game mode because you won't be detected by some of the score streaks in the game And uh, like I said this game mode is dominated by all types of score score streaks in the game so uh, for your class setup run something that gives you a lot of protection maybe consider using the trophy system as well or also the dome shield just something that protects you and also engineer works if you're trying to complete any score streak challenge and uh, for your rigs i like to use a weapon that clears out a lot of enemy players from the drop zone so in the gameplay you're going to notice that i'm running the claw that's a really good gun to use synaptics equalizer is also really good for clearing out a lot of players just find something that helps you clear out the enemy team so you can get more points to win the game now going back to the part where i was talking about how you should play this game mode uh, like I said, you really can't help out your team by running around the map. Yeah, sure, you can clear out a lot of players, but, I mean, the only way you can win is by capturing the drop zone. So, uh, you know, don't snipe in this game. I like to run a decent AR or a good fast-firing SMG, like the FHR Windfall. That works really well. Yeah, I'm using that gun in the game plan screen right now. So, uh, yeah, I like to run a sub or maybe a shoddy. That works well. Just anything that fires fast and can clear out a lot of players, that's going to be the best gun for this game mode. And also going to see in some of the clips on screen, I'm kind of playing dead in the drop zone here. I'm uh, holding out my, my uh, dome shield right here and uh, the other team doesn't see me at all and then when they're all piling up in the drop zone I, I pop out and just spray them all down it's a really fun strategy to do for this game mode just uh, find a corner or just somewhere play, some area in the drop zone that a lot of players wouldn't think to check and then when you see some people in there, just pop out and spray them all down with your gun. So, yeah, that's my strategy that I like to use for this game mode. Again, I like to use a good SMG or a fast-firing AR. Just that anything that clears out a lot of players, it's uh, going to be something you want to use for this game mode. So, yeah, those are my tips, guys, that I have for Drop Zone. I really do love this game mode a lot. It's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it back in Modern Warfare 3. And I also really enjoyed playing this game mode in Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, but the thing about this game mode in Infinite Warfare is you don't get 20 XP for capturing the objective. Back in Call of Duty Ghosts and Modern Warfare 3, you got 20 XP. XP for every single second you stayed in the drop zone, but you don't get any XP for staying in the drop zone for Infinite Warfare. That really does suck, and I wish the uh, the devs would change that back because, you know, I think a lot of players would appreciate that. You could really rank up fast in drop zone, and maybe the devs might be worried about people ranking up too fast in drop zone, but I mean, the game mode's only going to last for just a week, and uh, see, so yeah, I really don't think anyone's going to rank up that fast, but... I mean, I don't know, I really just wish that we got the 20 point score bonus for just holding down the objective because, you know, just getting the care packages really isn't that much of a incentive to, uh, you know, hold down the objective. I see a lot of players playing this game mode that are just simply running around the map and treating this game mode like it's hard point and you don't want to do that. So, yeah, those are my complaints and just my overall general thoughts on uh, on Drop Zone and also some tips for you guys. So, there you guys have it. Tell me thoughts about this, guys, down in the comments. How do you guys like Drop Zone so far? If you haven't played it, go try it out. And again, drop a like if you guys did enjoy it. And thank you for watching. I'm Averts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time. I'll catch you guys later.